Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Well, um, I've been praying about this issue, and um, the only thing I, I'm not really hearing from the Lord, so I'm believing I need to just put up this video. As I told you at the beginning of this month, uh, or maybe it was the end of the month last month, um, our sister Morella needs our help. She did get um, hearing a hearing with a lawyer, with a judge, about the child support on the 22nd. Well, she was told something about she'd have to agree to bring the children for visitation rights. Okay, so it sounded like, okay, that's, you know, a bummer. You know, she's not going to get any child support. Well, I'm going to read the email about that in a minute. But first, um, she sent me this email that um, she said she needs $50. She's getting her children back, y'all. That is good news. We sent her enough money to be able to catch up on her rent. And, and now it's nearly due again. It's two fifty a month. So, uh, she's got caught up on her rent. And they've had some food through the month, okay, and um, she had $100 to get a lawyer to get her babies back. Okay, so now new month's rolling around, and she needs $50 to pay for the truck to bring their cribs, their eating tables, and their clothes, so moving costs. 250 rent due the first week of June. Okay, and she said, Thank you for helping me pay all the rent I was due up to June. Okay, so thank you everybody that was able to give to Morella. Okay, now she said she needed 250 for a used washer, but then she sent me um, an email later saying the landlady has a used one she's going to get it fixed and put in for her to use isn't that wonderful so before i could ask the lord provided part of this okay that's great y'all she said the babies being around will easily daily fill a washer it is important to be clean because as you know also the dynapen which is their version of dhr will visit us every few weeks unexpectedly, so I need to always be ready. And she's right about that. So anyway, having that washer will really help. Okay, she said, also, I am ready every day and second for our beloved bridegroom. Yes, amen. We need to stay ready every second. That when he comes, he finds me busy doing the things he entrusted me. And then she said she'll need $500 for food for the month of June. So, now food is one place where, yes, I can save because there were times when we were only eating potatoes or rice days on end. That's what I was afraid of. However, with the Dynapen visits, it looks good if we have better food. I'm sure you all would agree. I repeat, however, we will try to save the maximum on food. Maybe just $10 a day. Assuming the prices will not go up a few times like they had said it would at the end of this month. For the five of us. I'm so glad you're getting your babies back. I'm so happy for you. She said $10 a day will get milk, bread, and potatoes. Yes, we can survive on that, she says. Anyway, sisters, if the Spirit urges you, do share this list with the people you know or your subscribers. And remember, Jesus promised, whoever did that for one of the little ones did it for him. 
and he will personally reward you your kindness towards him because he, unlike some men I had the bad idea to have the babies with, does keep his promises. Love, love, love. Yeah, we all have made our mistakes, haven't we? All right, now, this email says, Hi, family, I just got two good news. Yes, good news. I went to ask the owner how much is a washer because I will need it when I bring the babies. Okay, this is where she said she would bring the one, fix it, bring it here, and it will be free of charge. Okay. She told me there are some protests going on about prices going up. And they might not go up, at least not this week. Also, I got some legal advice from the U.S. And they said Lonell, that's the father of the two older boys, Lonell can't deny me the child support based on visitation rights. And when the custodial parent, that has always been me, thank you Jesus, lives abroad, the law is that the parent who gets visitation rights needs to travel to see the children. In seven and a half years, he never came, never called, never wanted to see his sons, even on Skype. So it is more than obvious he only uses the visitation argument to keep evading his responsibility of paying child support. It is pure wickedness of him to have money for an attorney, but not for child support. Anyway, she's asking, do you think it would be a good idea that before the June 26th, they gave her another hearing for June 26th, 3 p.m. Do you think it'd be a good idea that before June 26th, 3 p.m., when the next hearing is to get some Christians petitioning the Oklahoma DHS court that my sons finally get the child support they did not with no reason in the world they did not get so far for no reason in the world she says this judge does not seem to care at all the, uh, that the children are starving and I'm unable to return to the US due to having two more babies he was only talking about visitation rights when it is obvious even to a blind man that Lonell does not want to see them not here and is a pathological liar unable to be trusted on anything. Um, she says he lied under oath. I kidnapped his sons and ran to Ecuador, seriously, while I was prisoner in the field in Oklahoma. Yeah, y'all don't even know half the story what this woman's been through and did not even have a driver's license to get to run errands. He wouldn't let her get a license. He wouldn't let her have friends. He wouldn't buy her a home. She lived in the back of an 18-wheeler, not to mention run with the children. I guess she did, so she couldn't run away with the children. Also, he lied under oath that he never came to Ecuador. How strange everyone saw him here. They all must have had visions. A year after he dumped us here, he had his attorney write a letter where he confessed he was present in Ecuador. Okay, so I won't read any more of that. Morel, it sounds to me like you really need to try hard to forgive him more. You think maybe you have, but I think you need to forgive him. He's hurt you bad, but our Savior got hurt worse. 
So please try to remember that and forgive him. Just drop the charges. It doesn't mean you don't have to try to get the courts to pay your money. Just try to drop the charges. But uh, apparently, um, he's doing all what he's doing for a miserable 350 a month, which barely would pay the rent and some clothes for the boys. That's what she's asking. That's what he should be paying, apparently. 350 a month. That would pay their rent. And a hundred more towards food, clothes, whatever. Oh, we think Jesus is coming. We want him to. We don't know when. We don't. We want it to be now. It seems like it'll be now, right? Okay. So, um, she's just asked if I would, uh, put up a video and see who would like to donate. And remember, remember what I said before that. If, if 100 people gave $10, it would be $1,000. So, you see, if all you can give is $10, don't think, well, what, what's my little $10 going to do? Because if 50 of you did that, that's $500. That's rent. And that's get, getting the kids' stuff home and, and buying 250 or $200 worth of food. And then, you know, if some more comes in, you know, maybe you don't have it this week. Maybe you have it next week. And I'll put my PayPal because I have to send it through MoneyGram. Okay, so you send it to me and I send it to her. All right, so she's getting her. She's going to get a washer. Oh, yeah. The other need, uh, they had an old refrigerator that made a lot of frost. So Timothy was helping her defrost it, and she was watching him, and he put the knife, you know, and was tapping it to get the frost off, and, and he poked a hole in it. It must be really thin, but anyway, she said it made a hissing sound, and now it's broke, so they have to pay eighty dollars to fix it she found out she was thinking it was going to be more but it's only eighty dollars to fix it so that's really good so that that's an answer to prayer right there praise the lord thank you jesus because she was thinking two hundred fifty dollars to buy a new one you know and i was thinking you know maybe she could buy a used one or maybe somebody could fix it you know and i was praying about that and then yeah, she found that she could get it fixed for $80. So, praise the Lord. That's a good report. So, I'm going to end this here and say, I plead the blood of Jesus over this. And I pray that you all would consider, please consider, just sending me $10. It'll all add up. Okay? And I'll send it on to Morella. All right. Remember, if, you, if you'd if you rather give to Tessa, if you can... I know it's payday for a lot of people. She still has her needs. She's she's got she got up enough for almost half for the breaks, half the breaks, either the front half or the back half. So remember, she still has needs also. So you know, we are the church. None of us would say, no, I'm not part of the church. We know we're part of the church. You know, I don't have to tell you all that. So let's take care of these ladies, these single moms with children. That That is what we're called to do, I think. Don't you? I do think you are. Okay. Well, I plead the blood of Jesus over this video and over the internet connection and over each and every one of you as well. And with that, I'm going to say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.